Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Herbert Salter Purvis. I'm a queer author and I currently have two books out and today I thought I would take you through part of my critique partner process as part of Meredith Phillips critique partner matchup collaboration. Uh, all the information for that will be listed down in the description and there is a link to a playlist. Uh, so I will be breaking up this uh, series into sort of two or three videos. I haven't quite decided um, depending on how this video goes. So first of all this video is more just going to be about what a critique partner is, how to prepare yourself so you get the best out of entering into a critique partnership with someone and then the second video will be questions to ask uh, will be centered all around the prov uh, feedback in general about how to receive the feedback and how to good good feedback and then the third one if you're interested and I will gather that by you giving me a comment in this video or the next critique partner video I put up uh, my personal experiences working with critique partners so let's get something cozy to drink and dive on into the first part of this three-part series So a critique partner by definition is a partnership so it is a give and take situation with some a writer which is different to a beta reader um, which I can go into more detail or I do have some videos listed in my channel and I'll put them up here for you specifically about beta readers. Um, so a critique partner is a partnership which you provide feedback uh, to someone and they provide feedback to you in terms of your uh, manuscript after you have gone through self-editing that manuscript. Um, so it should be an author within your genre. Preparing yourself for the critique partner. So this is more what you should do for yourself uh, before sending off your document and also to make sure you fully understand what it is the other person in your partnership is looking for just so that you can it's a mo mutually beneficial um, partnership for you both. Uh, with that being said getting the same uh, giving more than you take as well as a respectful consideration uh, as I believe a rising tide lifts all boats okay so the first thing as part of a critique partner is to make sure that your critique partner writes in the same genre as you all genres are valid but specifically when you are looking for a partner a critique partner it helps if they write similarly to you in genre so they will understand the mechanics and tropes of the book that you're writing as well as the reader expectations as they have experienced the genre. Similarly, when this is a partnership, try to make sure that the person you're approaching for your critique partner matchup kind of is on your level of or only just above so that you are adding value to them because they are providing you their time, energy and effort respectfully showing them the same. So that's really what a critique partner is and the basic etiquette around uh, critique partnering. So now I'll dive into how to prepare yourself for joining up with a critique partner. So setting expectations, whether, uh, so you need to understand what you are expecting or slash requiring uh, from the partnership so that it is clear and concise and you can provide the full information. Uh, much like when you approach a professional editor, understanding of time frame. So if you have a manuscript that is 75,000 words, how long do you need it before you need it back? So it works in with your deadlines and being realistic with your own deadlines and, and understanding the expectations of providing the feedback for the other side of the partnership. Secondly, with the expectations is what sort of feedback um, are you requiring? So are you needing or wanting feedback and support in terms of character development, of plot and pacing, of whether you, if you are working with a trope and you've decided that you want to subvert the trope, if that is done adequately. Also, it is okay or request to provide the first couple of chapters uh, 
to your critique partner and get them um, and ask for their first chat couple of chapters to make sure that you do gel and work much like asking for a sample edit from a professional editor because it is a big time investment on both sides of the, the partnership so you want to make sure that you are respecting your time as well as their time and it's okay to respectfully pass but also have someone be okay with someone else going you know what respectfully this isn't what I thought it was or this isn't you know a good timing for me another expectation and how to prepare yourself fully is to provide your critique partner with the if you do have it a writing a working blurb or synopsis of your novel as well as any trigger warnings um i am the big believer in content warnings um because we all have different lived experiences and we all have reactions to different types of content and how we respond to it so out of a respect for your critique partner any content that may be triggering i do write dark fantasy romance and horror macabre um, pieces so I am very conscious that there are certain aspects of my novels that are troubling in um, content so I respect people that say yes no you know what this one's not for me but please consider me in the future so it is also a partnership so please respect that uh, and just in closing it is a way of respect and it is a very trusting avenue because this often is only the second or third person that you have shown your entire writing to so it is okay to be vulnerable about it it is okay to feel nervous and that's why setting yourself your setting expectations for yourself really understanding what you need out of the process and being upfront and honest with partner that you match with or approach it's okay to also tell them that you know what I am a little nervous or I'm a little apprehensive about receiving feedback and whether or not you require it in a sugar coating way or you would like it predominantly as statements that's okay so as I mentioned uh, Meredith Phillips has put this amazing collaboration together there are many other people that are participating the playlist is down below and I hope you have found this useful. Um, I will be providing another video next week in part two about how to provide feedback and receive the feedback, questions you should be asking, and I hope you've had some, uh, some, I hope you've found some benefit to this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've gone this far and you're not feeling overly chatty, just leave me an emoji that is about community. The AuthorTube community is amazing, the writing community is amazing and just to remember you're not competing with us, you're not competing with your critique partner, you're there to actually work hand in hand to bo benefit both of you. So until next time, let's use our voices to promote positive change in the world. Thank you and bye bye for now.